have a conversation with you? Should I start sending you texts? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just really distracted right now. OK, well, is this about those test results from GH? Because I thought you were going to forget about that until tomorrow morning. Yeah. What, what are you, test results? Are you sick? It's nothing. What, what test results for GH? What are you, are you sick? Or what's going on? Uh, I think you two could use a minute, so uh, I'll be back. Come on. All right, does this have anything to do with when you were attacked by Harmony? I appreciate your concern, but my life has nothing to do with you anymore. Yeah, but you're Donna's mother, so... And if this affected her, I would tell you. Okay, you can't brush this off that easy, because I know when you're hiding something. Hey, Nina. Enjoying your evening? Considering that the visitation hearing is tomorrow, Bobby, it's probably best if we don't speak tonight. If you listen to what I have to say, there won't be a hearing tomorrow. Call off your petition before it blows up in your face. I'm not discussing this with you, Bobby. We're going before a judge tomorrow. Wait a minute. Do you, do you really think those articles in The Invader are going to be the end of it? Michael will keep coming for you. Let him. Can't say anything worse than he has already. You know, I was the first one to see through Nell. Did you know that? I pegged her as a gold-digging psycho the first time my daughter let her through the door. And now I see where she got it. Now, it's true. You are more polished than Nell, but you're just as entitled and just as greedy about helping yourself to things that don't belong to you. Other people's husbands, other people's children. You're hardly Mother Teresa yourself, Bobby. I know all about your messy, sordid past, all the way back to when you manipulated Laura and Scott, because you wanted Scott for yourself. And let's not forget about all the people you lied to. Oh, and this little nugget, all the husbands that you cheated on. I haven't wrecked any homes lately. Unlike you, who helped yourself to Sonny, not that you care what it did to Carly, but what about Avery and Donna? You don't care about two little girls who lost their family? Oh, no, no, you'd rather walk around and wring your hands over Nell and make excuses for her laundry list of crimes. Yeah, I was robbed of the chance to help my daughter, to help Nell. But you got a second chance with your daughter, didn't you? Still, Carly turned out to be every bit as twisted as her prostitute mother. Oh. You didn't think I knew about that part of your shady past. Yeah, fortunately for me, Scott likes to talk. When I were younger, I'd toss a pitcher of margaritas all over you. Oh, but now you're older and wiser. Young at heart, only a bit wiser. <gasps>